Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Michelle Manley. I'm your independent Norwex consultant and hopefully you've been with me throughout the week. I am here today to show you a demo of the Safe Haven 5. These are my favorite products. They are the staples of our company and they are what gets you started on a safe journey with cleaning. So if you are new to Norwex, you'll want to watch this demo. If you're just getting started with Norwex, You'll also probably want a refresher, so stick around and watch this. If you already have these products and you're wondering what else does Norwex offer, then you'll wanna stick around for the next demo, which will be the clean um, demo of your kitchen. So how we use Norwex in our kitchen. So our kitchen is one of, to me, one of the most important places where we want to re reduce chemicals and replace chemicals harmful toxic chemicals. So Norwex, this is um, our Safe Haven 5 set. Norwex is all about, we have our mission right on the box, all about improving quality of life by radically reducing chemicals in our homes. And so this beginning set that I'm covering tonight, it's called the Safe Haven, and we want your home to be your safe haven. So you can't always control the environment when you leave your house, but you wanna be able to control what's in your home. So tonight we're going to talk about mechanically cleaning and um, chemically cleaning. So most of us grew up, or probably maybe still, chemically clean our homes. And what that means is that we are spraying or we are adding to the surface to clean. Norwex doesn't chemically clean, we mechanically clean. So mechanically clean means that you pick up and remove. So think of your flower bed outside. You can spray chemicals on the weeds and kill them, or you can pick them up or, you know, pick them and remove them. So we are picking up the germs and removing them instead of adding to the surface and killing. So, and the way we do that is with our microfiber. Tonight I'm going to cover our three, well, three of our microfibers and, um, we have lots of microfibers. We have microfiber for your floor, for your body, for, for everything. But tonight we're gonna to cover the three staples. So if you are new to Norwex, let me know that below. Let me know that you're new. If you are um, familiar with Norwex, let me know that too. So this is our EnviroCloth, and this is the staple of our company. It is a game changer for mechanically cleaning. And all of our cloths have the name on the cloth. So you see up here it says Enviro. So the Enviro cloth is different than any other microfiber you're gonna find in the store. So first of all, microfiber is like a star fiber. And so that's how it's picking up and grabbing where cotton is a cylinder and it's just moving things around. But our microfiber is the most dense microfiber in the world, or at least one of the most dense in the world. They say that if you unwind this fiber, it would stretch from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Um, it's very dense. So normally when you're in the store and you buy microfiber, that microfiber might cling to your hands and stick to your hands and it's thin and it feels very different. This is very heavy and dense and thick. Um, so that's one of the things that sets our microfiber apart. The other thing that really sets our microfiber apart is micro silver. So if you um, really like science, you might want to Google this and check this out later. Micro, um, micro silver is used me um, medically. Lots of, sometimes you can find it in your band-aids because it doesn't allow bacteria to grow, but it's also used in medical procedures and in hospitals. Um, so we have embedded micro silver into our cloth into the fibers of the cloth and it prevents bacteria from growing in your cloth and self purifies your cloth because the bacteria die that are in your cloth. So unlike your kitchen cloth that gets stinky and smells bad, you're not gonna have that problem with our cloth because the bacteria can't continue to grow in our cloth. So you will really love that about our cloth. So I'm going to do a quick demo here for you. I have some beef steak here you see, from my HelloFresh meal, or Green Chef actually. And I'm going to open this up. I'm gonna show you exactly how mechanical cleaning works. So um, I'm not gonna, not gonna check the comments until later, um, but I will go back and answer any questions and check all of the comments, but I do want you to interact. So um, we'll have a prize, a giveaway for 
those that participate and interact in the text and the messaging. So if you are on here, um, tell me if you are familiar with mechanical cleaning. So I'm gonna take this steak and I'm gonna rub it on this plate. You see here, rubbing it on the plate. Gross. And the reason I'm doing this is because this steak has protein in it. And in case you didn't know, protein is, um, protein is smaller than bacteria. So if there is bacteria, if there's protein present, then bacteria is larger, you know that bacteria is present. But if there's no protein present, you can be sure that there's no bacteria present. So I have these testers here. They are from a science lab. They have nothing to do with Norwex. Um, you should know that Norwex does have third party testing, very official testing, and it's all on our website if you're interested in that. But this is just a fun way and a workshop to be able to show you how mechanical cleaning works. So I got these from a science website. And if you see here, the green has a check mark, if it focuses, and then the dark purple is the dirtiest, and that will show us that protein is present, and it is dark purple and it has an X. It's not really focusing. Um, okay, so let's try this. So I'm gonna take this swab and we're going to swab our plate, which we just rubbed all that beef juice all over. Look, it's even, you can see it because it's dark on this swab. Did I do wrong? Sorry, you could tell it's been a long time since I've done this. Okay, now I'm gonna break off this juice in the top and it goes to the bottom. I'm gonna shake it up. And you can see that it is purple. And the longer we let it sit, and again, that purple means dirty, the longer we let it sit, it will continue to be purple. So I'll leave this here and we'll check them later. So that's purple. So that means that there is protein present on this plate, which could mean that there's also bacteria, right? So we're gonna take our Enviro cloth and we're going to remove the bacteria and protein from the surface. Now, when you're cleaning with the Enviro cloth, you always wanna have a flat surface. So I'm just going to clean it and then We'll take another swab and we will swab the plate. I'm going to swab it extra good so you make sure it's working. And it is bright green. So the EnviroCloth has removed all of the protein from the surface. Protein is larger than bacteria, so there's no bacteria there either. And um, that is how we clean with Norwex, with microfiber. We remove instead of adding. As kids, we were all taught you had to add to the surface. But the problem when you're adding to the surface that I never knew, and you may not know either, is that those chemicals um, disrupt your endocrine dis system, which is your hormones. So for me personally, this is very personal to me because I was having, I am having a lot of hormonal problems and um, that's part of what let me down this cleaning journey to find another solution. So um, here you'll see we have the dirty and we have the clean one. They're still, I'm going to let them sit for a while, but we will come back to this and we will, um, hold on. Can you please not Okay, we will come back to this and we will look at it and I will show you that the green tester is not defective, but I wanna make sure that you see that the green doesn't ever turn purple. So we're gonna leave those for a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you our second favorite cloth. Now, the th important thing also to think about when we were cleaning with these and removing the protein or the bacteria is that this plate could represent any surface. It could be my kitchen counter, it could be my stove top, it could be my bathroom seat, um, your steering wheel, any surface in your whole entire home 
can be cleaned with this EnviroCloth. With the exception, there's only one exception, and that is the, um, any anti-glare surface. You cannot use it on an anti-glare surface because the microfiber is so dense and so powerful that it, over time it can remove the anti-glare surface. But every other place in your home where you would clean, you can use this EnviroCloth. And I've only used water. This is just damp with water, and I removed everything with just water. Now, let's take a look at our second cloth. Okay. Our second favorite cloth is the window cloth. I'm going to show you. Okay, so if you have stainless steel, anybody have stainless steel out there? It is a nightmare to clean, right? You always have fingerprints, you always have a mess, and I'm going to show you how we can solve all those problems with a dry cloth and our Enviro cloth. So these are some kitchen towels. We'll talk about those in our other demo, if you stick around for the kitchen demo. But I have butter here, and I'm going to put butter on our stainless steel. And you know, if you have stainless steel, these grease marks, they don't come off easily. So you can see there. So um, now we have our EnviroCloth, it's wet, and I can even use that same surface. It's not going to make a difference. Um, so I'll even use the same surface that I used. You can see the tags here, so it's the same surface. We don't ever have to worry about the bacteria coming back off. Because of those star fibers, it's trapped in the cloth until we wash the cloth, okay? So I'm gonna take this fire cloth wet, and it cuts through all of that butter. Look at that, it picked it up and removed it. That easy, guys, butter grease. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my second favorite cloth, and this is the window cloth. Now you'll notice, again, it says window, and by the way, it also has the word backlock, and that means that silver is present. The uh, backlock is our word for the micro silver, and this window cloth is a flat texture, a smooth texture of microfiber, and it's used for shining. So I can shine my stainless steel, and well, I guess I should leave it up so you can see. So it is perfectly clean, it is perfectly shiny, and that happened with a wet Enviro and a dry window cloth. So you, sometimes when you're cleaning stainless steel, you probably have had a problem where it's very hard to get the streaks off of the stainless steel, but that's because you're adding to the surface. So with these, we're removing from the surface and therefore, you don't need any granite cleaner, you don't need any paper towels, you don't need any sprays, Windex, all of the things. You're saving so much money with these two cloths because you don't need all of the things, okay? So it's really great. <laughs> okay, so we have covered our Enviro cloth, our window cloth. The next thing, oh, sorry, <laughs> just remembered, okay. One thing I wanted to tell you about our safe haven. So remember, these five products, they come in the safe haven that we're talking about, and they are the easy button to replace the majority of the cleaners in your home. So one thing that um, is really important that I didn't touch on before is this box actually has some product education or some education on it. So in the back here, it says more than 85,000 chemicals have been created in the last 50 years. 50 years, did you know that? Only a small percentage have ever been tested to determine their um, impact on human health. So think about that for a minute. Why do we not test to know what it's doing to our bodies? Do you know that um, in our grandparents' generation, cancer was genetic and that now if you Google, cancer is 95% environmental. Environmental. So it's what we are putting in our environments. This is why it's so important that we make our home a safe haven. Um, the one that really resonated with me is this one. How many chemicals do you think, comment below, how many chemicals are found in the cord of a newborn baby? It's shocking, guys. How many chemicals are found in the cord of a newborn baby? Comment below. Here's your answer. Now, let's think about that. 
That means that those 200 chemicals are being transferred from the mother to the baby. And then probably later in life from that baby to the next baby, if it's a female, right? So um, really important. I don't know about you, but I was shocked when I found out that on average, I probably brought both of my children into the world with 200 chemicals in their body from the start. And so the reason why this is so important is because those chemicals are disrupting our systems. It, they lead to or contribute to autism, they contribute to obesity, they contribute to cancer, they contribute to all of these health epidemics that our country is facing. So. Um, it's also really resonated with me that if this is a Norwegian company, if you go to Europe, they don't sell the chemicals that we sell. You can't get them. So those 85,000 chemicals, the majority of them are not available to, to those countries. Their countries block them. But in our country, that's not the case. So you really have to do your due diligence and become educated and learn what you're putting in your environment and think about what you're doing with your family. So earlier, um, I posted a black light video. It's one of my favorites because I personally was a black light. I mean, a black light. I was not. I was a disinfecting wipe junkie, major junkie of disinfecting wipes. So um, I did a black light demo similar to the chicken. So I want you to check that out. Also, I really forgot this part. I'm all off kilter, I'm so sorry. So this plate, remember earlier, we, um, we have these protein testers here. Look, still dirty, still clean. Lick it. Would you ever lick this, this beef, this steak? I would never, but I am so confident and I know that this plate is 100% clean because of this cloth. There you have it licked the plate clean. There is nothing present on here that has me worried at all. So, okay, now let's move on. The next up in our safe haven kit is the dusting mitt. Now, I was not real excited about the dusting mitt initially because who really likes to dust? Now, you'll only get one in your kit if you choose the safe haven five, but I love two because dusting is not that fun for me. It is funner for my children. If that's not a word let your children dust if they can but rub it together if you have a hand one hand on just rub your one hand or rub them both together and you can go to work dusting with two hands no chemicals guys do you know that most allergens if you have allergies most allergens are found in the dust of your home do you know that toxic chemicals are found in the dusting dust in your home do you know that if you heat um if you have dust on electronics and electronics heat up, those toxins are off-gassing in your house, making your air in your house toxic. So we want to remove all the dust and not add to the dust. And so we do that with our dusting mitt microfiber. Now I'm gonna do a little demo for you because I, I didn't wanna carry you all around the whole house. So um, I'm gonna put some, um, this is flour. Let me make sure you can see that. So I put some flour here on the counter. There you go. So there is flour here on the counter. We'll spread it out. Um, and I did that to simulate dust so you could see. So if I have on my dusting mitt, also a little fun tip, these dusting mitts, they're great for the beach. They remove all the sand off your feet. Okay, so just like that, bam, look. All of the dust or would be flour <laughs> is on my dusting mitt. Guys, it makes dusting so easy. All of your blinds, your couches, anything outside. Um, people love to, you can use these. I used it dry just now and I picked it all up. And you see it's all trapped here in the microfiber. But you can also use these wet. So a lot of people will use them wet to clean screens or to clean um you name it, anything, furniture outside or anything where you don't want your hand exposed, just dampen this and you can go to town cleaning with your dusting mitt. So that is number three, very important, easy fix, right? And never buy dust spray again. One dusting mitt and you have it forever. Okay, so that was one, two, three. The next product in our safe haven five is the cleaning paste. 
And the cleaning paste is what we call elbow grease in a jar. So the cleaning paste uh, replaces soft scrub, Gooby Gone, um, Comet, anything like that where you need just a little extra scrubbing, you would use this. And it is marble flower. It's a paste. So you get your EnviroCloth wet and you rub it and it comes off. It lasts a really long time and then you scrub with it. It lasts a really long time. This is really great. I will do a demo and, and well in the kitchen demo, you'll see me use this to clean my sinks and my stove. If you have a glass stove top or a gas stove top, this is a game changer. It will make your stove cleaning so much easier and you will love it. Um, I also use it, so daily I use it to clean the stove and to clean out the sink. I also use it weekly to clean. I have hard water, so I have hard water stains in my bathtub and around my sink drains and they're gross. This gets them right up. I also use them to clean my stove, as I mentioned, as you will see later, if you stick around for that one. And what else? Shoes, it's a game changer for shoes. There's so many things. So if you join my VIP page, tomorrow there'll be a link to join my VIP community. It's a learning community. I give away lots of free stuff, so you'll definitely wanna get in there. But um, if you do that, you can search cleaning paste and you will be astounded by the, first of all, amount of photos of before and afters, but all of the ways you can use this. So with this, you're replacing paper towels. You're replacing all of your spray cleaners. Any spray cleaner you can think of, you, oh, see the flower I wiped on here. You're replacing with this. With this, you're replacing, this is the window cloth, you're replacing all of your shining things, shining cleaners. So like, for example, that would be Windex, that would be um, stainless steel cleaner, that would be, I don't know what else you use to shine, but anything you're using to shine. So these two go together, they're best friends. You use this one wet, use this one dry, but these four are replacing almost every toxic chemical in your home with just this set. And it makes it cleaning so easy and fast. Um, okay, then last but not least, we have Ultra Power Plus. This is our laundry detergent. And this answers, how do I care for these magical cloths? So if you're with me, say hi, let me know you're still here, you're still watching. I know we're at 22 minutes here, but let me know. And if you have any questions, be sure to post them. Um, I, wanna, I wanna be able to answer when we're done. Okay, Ultra Power Plus. Ultra Power Plus is how you care for your cloths. So to keep these cloths, these cloths need to be able to pick up and remove bacteria. So it's really important that you do not add unnecessary, you don't wanna coat the fibers of the cloth. So to do that, that means that you need to use a free, not free and clear, you need to use a filler-free detergent. Filler-free is different than free and clear. So many of you might be thinking, oh, well, I use free and clear, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's good, actually. It's much better than using not free and clear, but it's not quite the same as filler-free. So filler-free means that we have no phosphates, sulfates, chlorine bleach, fillers, optical brighteners, um, dyes, or fragrances. Guys, did you know in fragrances they can hide unlimited chemicals? So when you're reading the back um, ingredients of any product and it says fragrance, you have no idea what's in it because they can hide whatever they want in the word fragrance. So um, free and clear is different than filler free. So you want to use filler free detergent. Obviously ours is the best option to keep the warranty of our cloths. Our warranty, we have a two year warranty on all of our cloths, but I, um, I know girls that have been in nine year or have been using the products for nine years and they are still using their original cloths. I'm still using my original cloths as well. I just don't have that much time in the company. Um, but so they last for a very long time. Um, we, ha we usually, we say five to seven years. I think nine is more relevant because we say wash them once a week. And if you wash them once a week, because what I didn't say is when, after I cleaned with this, I will rinse this in the sink and I will hang it by the tag to dry. I have a command hook under every sink of my house and every room has its own cloths. And 
Um, I hang it to dry. The air needs to be able to move, move through it and the silver will go to work. The bacteria cannot grow and it will be good to go and use again. And I will use it again, even though I rubbed this all over it, I will use it again. And it's still fine. Um, so anyway, you wash weekly with filler free detergent, no dry dryer sheets. Did you know those are in the top three of toxic items in your home? No dryer sheets, no fabric softener, no bleach, and a filler free detergent is how you care for our cloths. Now, do you know, comment below, what is the largest organ that you have? What's your largest organ? Anybody know in comments? So your largest organ is your skin. So what you're putting on your clothes soaks into your skin. And it's really important that you use something that is safe because it's filtering through all of your organs. So this is safe. Um, I can tell you we're a family of five and this laundry, bag of laundry detergent, or my last bag of laundry detergent, uh, lasted me six months. I started, I had put the date on it. I started December 17th and I finished it at the end of June. And honestly, it might've made it to July, but the kids, it had a little bit left in it and they spilled it. But, um, it lasts a really long time. So it comes with a big scoop inside. You don't need the big scoop for a, um, front load washer you need I used to use half a teaspoon I've now upped it to a teaspoon so use a teaspoon you hear that teaspoon of laundry detergent um, for a traditional machine you want to use a tablespoon so from a teaspoon to a tablespoon is all you need and some of you might be thinking well are you crazy like I use a whole capful now or I use a whole pod how can I get down to a teaspoon you can get down to a teaspoon because when you remove all of those things that I named, you don't need, you just are straight, you're left with what is actually necessary to wash your clothes. So take all the junk out and you have what's left and that's all you need. Um, most store-bought detergents are 80% water anyway, or nine, maybe 90. It's, it's more than, it's a significant amount. They're mostly water. So we also have a liquid detergent if you're interested in that. But let me tell you why this is the best one. One, because I, it lasts forever. Two, because it cleans everything. So maybe you, you watch this demo and you're all in and you're like, Michelle, I am so gonna try this. I can't wait to work with you. Um, I'm going to box up all those chemicals in my house right now and I am ready to go to work using microfiber and change the way I've always cleaned. If that is the case, then, um, oh, I forgot. Oh, you might have people in your house that want, that think they need a spray cleaner, right? They're gonna be like, you wanna clean with just this cloth? And you're gonna say, well, I saw this demo and she licked the plate. But um, if you have people in your house that need a spray cleaner, like I have one son, he knows all about Norwex, he knows all the stuff, but he likes a spray cleaner. So I take, a half a teaspoon of this, I mix it in a spray bottle with hot water so that it dissolves the detergent, and then that's our multi-purpose cleaner. We have a puppy, so I use it to clean up all of his puppy messes, which are a lot of puppy messes. Um, so you tell me in the comments, where do you use a multi-purpose cleaner? Because anywhere you use a multi-purpose cleaner, this is your replacement. It also, I use it to clean my jewelry. I use it to clean my makeup brushes. I use it to clean all of my laundry, all of my cloths. Um, I use it best carpet cleaner I've ever used. Now I don't have much carpet in my house. I only have large throw rugs, um, but they are light colored and I have children and I have dogs. So I use this. Now I will say the other day when I was spraying with the puppy, his face is right in the mess I'm cleaning up and I felt so much better that I'm spraying this at him instead of um, chemical cleaners, really important. So this is a must have and you won't regret it, I promise. Oh, the other thing, go to EWG, environmentalworkinggroup.com and search your laundry detergent. Don't just look at the rating because the company has been known, there. they let people buy their ratings, um, supposedly, but look at the bars. There'll be black bars that tell you your respiratory risk, your cancer risk, your environmental risk, and there's one more. 
click on those black bars and read what the risk is. Don't just look at the letter, read about the risk. For me, I am not comfortable with any respiratory risk in my lungs or my body. I'm not comfortable with any cancer rating at all, <laughs> at all. So you want to go look up your laundry detergent because this was one of the last things I changed and I get why. But at bare minimum, please stop. You need it to clean your floss. Okay, so the last thing I wanna go back, I dropped this on the floor. Okay, so I wanna show you, here's your two um, tests. They are still green and purple. Now we had, I can't remember what side I used. I always, I always have this problem, but I'm gonna take this green one out. I'm pretty sure I had the tag here, so I'm pretty sure I used this side of the cloth. If I didn't, you can comment below and tell me I screwed up. But um, I just swabbed the cloth. I'm gonna put it in here and shake it to show you. It still won't turn purple. Those, the bacteria does not come back out of the cloth until you wash it. And one of the things people always ask is, do I wash it in the washer? What do I do? When I only had the safe haven, I washed in the sink. Um, now that I have lots of cloths, I do wash them with the washer. Absolutely, you can. You cannot wash with linty items. They will pick up everything. And personally, if I'm cleaning a toilet seat or my kitchen counter or beef off of the counter, I don't want this in with my laundry. I just don't. But when you deep soak them in the sink and you see all the stuff they release and how dirty the water is, you will know how amazing they are. So you see here, still green. And just in case, I'll wipe this other side that had the tag, but I'm 99% sure that was not the right side. So I'll wipe this other side and put it in here. Still green, it doesn't change. So that is our demo for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something along the way. Comment and tell me what stood out to you the most. Um, here is the deal. If you watch tonight, or even if you're watching the replay, make sure you comment. You will go into, if any, the comments or your amount of comments, you'll go into a drawing um, that I will be announcing. But additionally, if you, um, the safe haven, I have a deal on the safe haven. I offer, oh, let me grab them, hold on. I do not have it right here, but we have two products. One um, is this spear net. It's, um, this is steel wool, and it's really good to use with the cleaning paste. And the other one is called a speary sponge, and it's just a little sponge. It does not have the silver in it, um, but it's really good to use with the cleaning paste as well, and I will be demoing it in the next demo if you stick around for that. So um, when you buy the Safe Haven 5, I like to give those as free gifts. But the only way that I can give them right now is if you order directly through me. And when I mean through me, not my website. So if you are interested in getting, if you want to get the Safe Haven 5 and you want those free products, message me. There will be ordering information that comes up after this live demo. And um, I offer packages. I offer a couple packages and they have different free items attached to them. If you choose a package with a free item, contact me directly. You can message me through Messenger. You can um, put a note here on the group or um, I'll post my phone number as well. You can text me or call me and I will place that order for you so that I can buy you the freebies because they're just products that I think are really great and they complement your products perfectly and I want you to be able to use your products to the fullest extent possible. So, um, that is that for tonight. If you are interested in seeing what Norex has to offer in the kitchen, stick around for that demo. Um, if you or if you wanted to learn more, I'm I'll be happy to see you there. Thanks for watching.